To create a budget that meets the needs of Granbury, we need to understand our community and anticipate their needs before they arise. In the last five years, the Granbury population has grown by nearly 1,000 people. However, the city continues to serve the growing population with roughly the same number of employees. The growth is evident in housing development. The ad valorem revenue growth, or property value growth, has increased an average of 5% a year over the past seven years, and the ad valorem tax rate has stayed under 40 cents per $100 valuation. It's important to remember that only 20% of your total property tax goes to the city, and the rest goes to the county and school district. Visitors love Granbury. This can be seen in the growth of the hotel occupancy tax, or hot tax. And those visitors, plus the 60,000 residents of Hood County who use Granbury as a commerce and recreation center, shop here. This is reflected in our sales tax growth. But with all that growth, city taxes remain to be one of the lowest in the area. Now, how does this growth impact our city's budget? The budget is made up of four funds. We're going to start with the second largest, the general fund. The general fund's largest revenue base is sales tax. In fiscal year 17-18, it was 42% of the general fund's revenue. The second largest revenue source is property tax at 31%. However, 51% of that piece goes right to debt repayment. Other sources of revenue come from licenses, permits, court, and park revenue. Once these revenues go into the general fund, where do they go? Public safety comes first. The general fund covers police, fire, and code enforcement. In Granbury, just like in most cities, the majority of the general fund goes to public safety services. The roads, parks, recreation, and public spaces our community enjoys come out of the general fund, and general fund also covers internal administrative services. Some major highlights for the general fund in fiscal year 17-18 were large projects such as the Downtown Streetscape project and the expansion of the Jim Burke's Firefighter Memorial Park Memorial Lane. The city also launched a new responsive website and the OpenGov platform for better financial transparency. In the 2018-2019 budget, sales tax and property valuations are projected to continue to increase. The city will use these additional revenues to meet the growing demands of our city by funding new positions. A growing population needs additional police force. Right now, four of the requested patrol officers are included in the budget, as well as two inspectors and one community planning technician intern to meet building and development growth and one communications intern. The city also plans to invest $254,750 in capital improvements. This will include information technology investments, parks and code enforcement vehicles, street and parks equipment, parks infrastructure maintenance and upgrades, and recreation signage. Additionally, the city will finance a 10-year lease purchase of two firefighting apparatuses, a ladder truck to replace a 20-year-old aerial unit used to cover large structure fires, and a top-mounted pumper to replace a 21-year-old apparatus. The addition of this equipment will not only better serve our citizens in the event of a fire, but it will also help to ensure the city's volunteer fire department maintains a strong ISO rating. That ISO rating will help to keep insurance rates low for property owners. Now let's talk about the largest fund, the utility fund. The utility fund provides for our community's everyday needs, such as electricity, water, and sewer services. The services of the utility fund are absolutely essential, and the city strives to ensure that the quality of service is high and uninterrupted. The utility fund has to be proactive and anticipate our community's future needs, especially with a growing population. As the population grows, so does our service demand for both water and electric services. The utility fund is run more like a business. The revenue the city takes in from water, sewer, and electric consumers covers the operating expenses for those services. There were several major projects for the utility fund in fiscal year 17-18, such as the $16 million reverse osmosis water treatment plant, which can produce up to 2.5 millions of gallons of water each day. The plant will be expanded in the coming years as the city continues to grow. 
To go with the water treatment plant, the city has made $17 million in improvements to the water distribution system to be able to handle this expanded water supply. We have also upgraded all of the city's water meters with new digital water meters, which offer the ability to track water consumption. And along with the new water meters, the city launched My Usage, an online portal for customers to be able to access their water use data. In the 2018-2019 budget, capital projects for the utility fund include water and electric meters, pumps and motors, electric infrastructure, heavy equipment, water infrastructure, and sewer infrastructure. A slight increase in water and sewer rates will go toward funding a $50 million debt issue for the construction and expansion of the city's current water and wastewater treatment facilities. Major projects include the beginning of the Wastewater Systems Improvement Project, which includes the rehabilitation of the current wastewater treatment plant, building a new wastewater treatment plant, and other collection system improvements. Fiscal year 2018-19 will also bring Phase 2 of the surface water treatment plant upgrades, smart meters for the electric system, and continued expansion of the CMAR project. The final two funds are the Airport Fund and the Tourism Fund. The Airport Fund is used to account for revenues and expenses related to the operation and maintenance of the Granbury Regional Airport. Besides personnel, major expenses are for aviation fuel purchases and maintenance. Capital improvements for the airport are funded primarily through grants. The major source of revenue for the airport fund comes from the sale of aviation fuel and hangar rent. The airport is also budgeted to receive this year $3 million as the second installment of a $15.7 million grant from TxDOT for the airport expansion project. It's important to Granbury's economy that people visit and spend money here. This is why the city's tourism fund exists. It has two major components, Visit Granbury and Lake Granbury Conference Center. Two other cultural centers, the Langdon Center and the Opera House are also accounted for here. The tourism fund is a special revenue fund which derives its revenue from the Lake Granbury Conference Center revenues, as well as revenues from hotel occupancy taxes or hot tax. Hot tax revenue is growing in Granbury. A hot tax is a 7% per room tax levied on people who stay in a hotel, motel, or bed and breakfast in Granbury. You can view the city's budget anytime on our website. Visit granbury.org budget to see the full budget and to use the OpenGov transparency tool.